What is up, you all? It is King Brittany Chanel, and you are back on my Save Brittany Chanel channel. In today's video, it is the long-awaited boutique room closet tour. I know that was a mouthful, but you guys, I know you guys have been wanting to see since I put in the new system how I was going to style it. So the video is here. If you like these sort of videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, and let's get started. I hope you enjoy. All right, you all, so we are in my boutique closet room. And for those of you who do not know, this is an alpha system from the container store. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit about what I have going on here. So the particular design that I had for this particular um, alpha system was I knew that I did not want to showcase a lot of clothing. I wanted some fancier items on display but I'm not one that likes the fussiness of clothing on display the reason why I did not want to go with that that's going to be for my next alpha system project which I'm about to get into is because you have to color code you have to be held at a standard of where you cannot be messy and I just feel like clothing looks better behind doors so what you're going to see here is the majority of the things that I have on display is my jewelry collection and different things um, accessory wise because I love accessories which I have styled for my particular um, alpha system. So you guys are going to see like the how the jewelry was displayed and styled and for me it's about functionality like you guys know that I always talk about functionality and aesthetic like it has to work for my everyday life and that is why I chose to not display a bunch of clothing because like I said you guys it could get a little bit cluttered for me but my accessories accessories tend to look a bit cuter um, more aesthetic wise and I had a ton of accessories so I knew that my closet you know on display closet the part of my closet that's on display here I knew I wanted my accessories to be aesthetically styled and designed. Now, I do have clothing tucked away in the drawers. Um, and I'm going to do another video in the future where I talk about the alpha system that is going to go behind the closet doors to uh, shelve the clothing. But for the most part, I decided to style this particular system to you know style things like my perfumes necklaces bracelets just jewelry galore but i also you know with accessories i didn't want it to be you know cluttery also i like things to look visually appealing so a lot of my things that are on display they are visually appealing if i feel like i still wear them but it's not functional for me to see every day those are things that i tend to tuck away so pretty much you guys i decided to also use my accessories to pop off the color scheme that i have in my boutique room you guys notice that i have a lot of black rattan um different shades you guys know that i am rh inspired when it comes to my home decor thinking and particular style like and I feel like when anybody does their boutique um closet or things like that try to do things that work for you as far as what you need as a person like I you know I describe myself like hey I don't like clutter but I like to I don't like to be also held to the standard where I must make this look neat every day and I have to try doing it I don't like to live like that. So things that require that go behind the doors, okay? It's still going to be organized, but it ain't going to be on display. So different people as far as aesthetic and as, as far as functionality, some people, they don't really like anything on display when it comes to organization. They just like storage and they like it to be behind, you know, things like baskets, things, you know, like cupboards, all kind of stuff. 
So also another thing that I kind of learned from putting together my boutique um, space was that I shopped my home first before I really did anything. And most of the home decor pieces that you guys see here is from me shopping my home of stuff that I have already. Like, So a lot of the times when you want to create a space, you can shop your home for stuff that you already have. The most that I probably um, went out to get was the jewelry kind of displays because I knew I had to piece things together. But the reason why I like shopping your home first is because it takes away the pressure of you having to buy a bunch of stuff. Like sometimes we already have stuff in the house that we can make use of. So that is what I did first before I went out and bought the jewelry stuff because it really helped me to create a nice visual look with stuff that I already had. So I kind of just recycled what I already had. And then also um, I had to play around with the look like you know decorating and design because I'm a designer like I know a lot of people when they say that it's like okay I'm not I'm a person that I visually come up with things in my mind like because a lot of people on social media um they're not creatives and uh, you because we live in that sort of kind of society where people they see other people and they do but there are some people that they're designers I'm one of those people that I have to live with it I have to work with it with my hands I have to look at it you know draft it up in my head this is coming off the top of my head and I'm like okay this is the look that I want so I knew what I wanted in my mind and then I brought it to life basically so that is what you guys are seeing here you are you're seeing what I thought about because I showed you guys the video when I first went to the container store to design this particular look like about a year ago but I never like in my mind I'm like okay I knew I was gonna put it together but to see my boutique room come to life and that I was able to live with it and I'm still tweaking things like you know to make sure that I like it um aesthetically but so far I am loving how the look turned out I'm gonna you know draft up my design for the other alpha system that I'm thinking about in my mind for the closet space as far as like the cloth the elaborate clothing so if you guys are interested in that definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel because I don't want you guys to miss out on any home decor lifestyle videos and inspiration I don't want you to miss like not a moment of it so definitely make sure you subscribe I know a lot of you all asked me to do an in-depth about how much systems cost um, definitely, I think I'll think about doing that as far as the next alpha system video, like the breakdown of how that goes. But definitely, if you're interested in those type of things, check out my first video where I went to the container store and you guys can see the different systems that they have because I think I also like showed the prices as well as far as how much some systems cost because it really just depends on what you plan on putting together. If you all enjoyed this video, thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. And I hope you all enjoyed the home decor uh, inspiration. And I will see you all soon on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.